If you're a homeowner in Santa Monica or you're a buyer looking to get into the highly coveted neighborhoods by the beach, this is definitely a video you want to pay attention to as we're going to dial in just what is going on in Santa Monica's market for 2021 as we look at quarter one, which is now in the books, and compare it to quarter four of last year to see exactly what the progression is. Is it a hot seller's market in Santa Monica as well? And will it continue to be a hot seller's market through 2021? Keep it dialed in. We're about to find out right now. What's going on guys? Eric Haas here with eXp Realty in sunny Southern California. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. I'm here on the west side of Los Angeles bringing tips, tricks, and strategies to you to keep you successful as a buyer, seller, or investor. So if you're joining me for the first time, super stoked to have you here with me today. If you've been joining me for a while, thank you so much for the continued support. It's been a busy week. I don't know about you guys out there, but I've been slammed. I had two deals closed this past week, one on the west side in Mar Vista and one in the San Fernando Valley in Granada Hills. I've got a new listing coming as well in the San Fernando Valley in Reseda for $5.99. So if you're looking, Drop a comment below. I'm happy to let you know. But if you haven't joined me before, this is all about tips, tricks, and strategies to keep you updated as a buyer, seller, or investor to keep you successful in this market or any market for that matter. We're covering the West Side markets. We're jumping into Santa Monica. We've covered Mar Vista and Venice already. So have a look at those if you're checking out those neighborhoods as well, in addition to Santa Monica. But we're about to dial in right now what Santa Monica is looking like for quarter one and moving into the future, into the summer hot months which is usually a hot seller's market, and it's only gonna to continue to be one. But let's look at the numbers so you can understand exactly what to expect as a buyer seller and what you can do to make sure you're getting top dollar or as a buyer, the best deal at the end of the day. So keep it dialed in. We're about to jump in right now. So unlike our Venice market update that we had for quarter one, 2021, just last week, Friday, Santa Monica's real estate market is one that is finding homeowners that are selling, not only being smart, but also reaping the benefits and capitalizing most intensely on the seller's market that we're experiencing right now. And it looks, my friends, as if, based on the numbers we're about to get into, as though we're going to experience this hot seller's market throughout the summer as well. Now, let me take you through a little journey of what's going on. Quarter four for actives and quarter one for actives is pretty much the same 60 in quarter four. We have 63 homes currently available in Santa Monica for quarter one and currently as of this date as well. Now here's the interesting thing. Pendings for quarter four have jumped 73% from 26 homes under contract for quarter four 2020 to 45 homes now under contract for quarter one in 2021. Again, a 73% increase. Now, the number of solds has taken a little bit of a dip because inventory has gotten tighter and it's just finding um, homes just not selling as many as they were, say in quarter four at 61, and now we're at 55 in quarter one, 2021. Not a huge difference, just six homes, but you know, just something to be aware of as well. The inventory is tight and it's gonna be a little bit harder to find those opportunities. but. For those home sellers right now that are looking to sell, I commend you guys. You are definitely paying attention to this video. Uh, maybe it's getting out to you just by me telepathically putting it out there to you guys. But Santa Monica is definitely on point for being one of the smartest neighborhoods with pricing their homes correctly. Let's jump right on into it. Median list price was $5 million in quarter four, 2020. Now, rather than keep it at that level or like how Venice kept it at their level at $3.2 million, 4.3 million became the new median list price in quarter one, 2021. That is a 14% decrease. And you're probably going like, uh-oh, values are going down. What's, what's Eric talking about? He was saying that values are going up in Santa Monica and it's going to continue throughout summer. Well, let's pay attention. Median pending price was 2.8 million in quarter four, 2020. We're looking at a median pending price for quarter one, 2021 at 3.2 million. That is a 14% increase, meaning that homes are selling in the future because they're under contract in the next 30 to 45 days. Their median price is 3.2 million. And then let's look at our median sold price. This is great. Quarter four, 2020 was at 2.9 million. Now that sellers are getting smart about their pricing and pricing it correctly from day one, they're getting 
3.4 million for the median sold price. And that's a 17% increase. It's insane, 17% increase in just one quarter. And let me tell you folks, we don't even need it to get into the price per square foot because it's pretty much the same scenario. Now, if we're looking at average days on market, we're not seeing too much of a change up. Again, homes have been priced smartly pretty much since the end of December. So we've got a 42 average days on market for quarter four, a 48 average days on market for quarter one. But here's the kicker too, original list price versus sold price. We were at a low 96% of homes getting 96% of the original list price when they're selling in quarter four, 2020. We've bumped it up 3%. We're now at 99% with homes getting 99% of the original list price. And that again goes hand in hand with making sure that your home is priced right, right from the start day one. Now, here's another kicker. Let's look at the homes that have gone over the asking price and sold at asking price. Forget the homes right now that are selling under asking price because in quarter four, there was a substantial amount of that, of that 61 homes that sold under asking. It was at 39. Fast forward just one quarter, we had 23 homes sell over the asking price for quarter one, 2021. We had five homes sell at asking, and here's the kicker. We had only 27 homes sell under the asking price. We are literally almost at 50% of the listings in Santa Monica selling at the asking price or over the asking price, whereas just one quarter ago, that was just not the case. We had 18 homes sell over the asking price. We had four homes sell over uh, at the asking price in quarter four, and then we had 39 homes actually sell for under the asking. So let me tell you, Santa Monica is really the first neighborhood that is transitioning away from that trend of majority of the homes selling under the asking price to a majority of the homes selling at or over the asking price. And let me tell you, that's exactly the place you wanna be as a home seller. You do not wanna be one of those 39 or 27 homes in quarter one that was going under the asking price. Now, sold volume hasn't changed too much. It's just changed about $6 million worth. But let's look at the highest sold home for quarter four, and let's check out the highest sold home for quarter one. So highest sold home in quarter one, it was 427 14th Street. This is north of Montana. This is a neighborhood that is the upper echelon of Santa Monica. We also have Ocean Park, Sunset Park. We also have right on the beach as well. But North of Montana is known for being a very high stakes neighborhood, beautiful homes, 7,500 square foot lots on average, and getting in there usually just costs about $3 million. So this is a 2020 built home, five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 6,400 plus square feet. Again, on a 7,500 square foot lot, where did they squeeze all that? square footage into well in santa monica these days they're building a ton of california basements and the cool thing about that is that those basements actually aren't part of the actual square footage that is recorded by the city so you're not paying property taxes on the basement square footage you're paying taxes on the property square footage of the actual house so this is how builders are getting away with it as well because that's actually square footage in the basement is not counted against them so they're finding a little bit of an alternative to add more square footage ending up in these amazing basements with pool tables bars movie theaters you name it it's happening now move to quarter four's highest sale we had 628 20th Street, again, north of Montana, as I dropped, just dropped the spiel on that neighborhood being of the higher echelon price points for Santa Monica. This was a 2020 build as well, but we had seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, 8,200 square feet of house. Again, made that happen with the California basement, as I just mentioned earlier, and the lot size was 8,500 square feet because Right now, parameters and, and mansionization are not allowing for such homes to be built. But if you go with a basement, you definitely can take advantage of that and definitely add more square footage. Now, the hot price range right now in Santa Monica is between $2 million and $3 million. That is the price point where I'm seeing most of the homes going over the asking price as well. So, you know, just wanted to drop some great information for you guys, keep you up to speed and kind of give you an idea of where this market is going for Santa Monica come into these summer months. Now, my buyers out there, if you are looking to get into something, there are still opportunities because there's 
39 homes that sold under the asking price in quarter four, 27 homes sold under the asking price in quarter one. So there are people out there that are overpricing that buyers can take advantage of. Plus in this pandemic market too, you got to look to checking out homes that are off market, off market, meaning they're not even on market for sale, but if they were hit with the right price by a buyer who's serious, pre-approved or an all cash buyer, they'd be ready to sell. So this prevents obviously a lot of people having to go through their house considering the pandemic and whatnot as well. It's another great route and opportunities for buyers to find that perfect house and not have to compete on market like we're experiencing right now with multiple offers driving the press up and up over the asking price to the tune where we're at 99% of the original list price being accepted at the end of the day when these homes are selling. So hope you guys found tremendous value in this. I hope you're having a great Friday. Hope you have an exceptional weekend as well and have some fun. I'm here for you. If you got any questions, drop them down below in the comments. If you haven't already, please greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, like, comment, hit the little bell because I'm doing this every Friday to keep you dialed in as a buyer, seller, investor to have success in this market or any market that we're experiencing. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.